Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today I'm going to show you how you can create sections in Elementor that you can scroll horizontally and this method that I'm going to show you today is totally free that means that you won't have to install any additional plugins all we're going to do basically is to install a few lines of CSS code into our page all right so let me show you the results first so this is basically the finished product what we're going to achieve today so we have section one here. So we're gonna add as many sections as needed. We have five here, for example. So here I can scroll from one to the other. So from section one to section two, from section two to section three, and so on. Or the other way around, I can go back as well, as you can see, very easily. And once we've reached the end of our page, it will show our footer section as well, just like that. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, very good. So for this, we go to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to create a new page. So we're going to pages and then add new. So we're going to create a new Elementor page. So let's give it a name first. We can publish this and now we're going to edit with Elementor. So click on this. Very good. So from here, now we're going to create our different sections. So we're going to create one section that we can duplicate and change the different settings as we go along. So we're going to create our first section first. So let's create this and we're just going to select one column first, just like this. And this one, while we're at it, we're going to select the height. We're going to set it to fit to screen. So it's going to take the whole height of the screen, as you can see. And now we can add a background color. So let's select maybe, let's go with a pinkish color like this. Why not? We're going to add a heading. So let's call this one section number one and then we're going to add a little bit of text as well text editor just underneath so this is basically how you would construct and build your section so add anything that you need obviously you know this is just an example here so let me add a little bit more text maybe something like that would be just about fine and let's change the font color as well let's make it white that's just about perfect. So this is our first section created. So let's update this and let's have a quick preview. So this is what it looks like from the front end. And as you can see, we have to scroll up and down to see uh, the other sections. So now let's create section two, three, four and five. OK, so like I said, we can just duplicate them, you know, so right click on this duplicate, right click duplicate and do that five times or as many times as you need it. So what I'm going to do now basically is to change the background color here. I'm going to change this maybe to blue or maybe purple. This is fine. And then we can do the same with the other ones. So I'm just going to speed this up now. Okay, now we have five sections. So let me show you very quickly what it looks like. So we'll go back to the home page. And as you can see, we have section one, section two, section three, four and five. And then our footer section. So obviously at the moment we have to scroll up and down. So what we want is to be able to scroll right to left or left to right. So let's apply those settings now. And for this, we're going to insert a few lines of CSS code into our page. So let's inspect uh, the source code here. So basically if I select this element here, this is our section. As you can see, it shows Elementor container. And then the one that's the main section basically is this one. So this is the main section, Elementor section wrap. This is the one that contains that section. And now the main container itself is entry content clear. So we need to add a bit of CSS code to uh, modify those two classes here and make them behave differently. OK, so let me show you how we can do that. So back to our Elementor page here, we're going to add a new section plus just like this. And now we're going to add a bit of HTML. So HTML, as I said at the beginning, we're not going to add any additional plugin, nothing. We're going to do everything from this page just by adding CSS code. But we're going to insert the CSS code within HTML tags. So this is how we can do that for free without adding any plugins. So grab the HTML element here, drop it here. And right here, we're going to start with style. So style tags basically is to insert is the HTML equivalent to insert CSS within your page. And this is where you're going to copy and paste the code that's left in the description below. So you just paste it here. But before we can do that, 
we have to add class names to our sections. So let me show you. So we click on our section here. We're going to advanced and you can see here we have CSS classes. We're going to call this one section, just like this section. And you do the same with the five other sections. So click on section two, section, section three, call it section, section four, and name it section. And the same with section five. So class ID, section, very good. Now we can go back to the top, back to our HTML, and now we can paste our CSS code. This is the one here, very good. So as you can see here on top, we have the entry content clear, which is our main container. Subcontainer is Elementor section wrap. And within those container, we have our five different sections, which are called section. Okay, very good. So there's only one thing to do now is to hide the section that contains the HTML code. So which is this one here. So we have our HTML code and then with the column itself. So click on the column itself, advanced, going to advanced and then responsive. And then we're going to hide on desktop, hide on tablet and hide on mobile phones as well. So click update. And normally now, if we go back to our homepage and refresh, if we refresh this now, we can go from section one to section two, section two to three, and so on. And once we've reached the end, it's going to display our footer section. And if we keep scrolling down, it will show everything and hide even the menu section. And then we can go back the other way around. So basically this is working. There you go, guys. This is how you do that. Well, there you go, guys. That's all for today. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It will greatly help grow this channel. If you have any questions, feel free to post that in the comment section below. As always, I'll endeavor to reply to everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.